Hey guys, so I got a couple requests um, from some friends and such to do an eyebrow tutorial and I'm not all that sure why. My eyebrows are nothing to be raved about but um, I definitely thought that I would share um, just because I've gone through it all with my eyebrows. I have very, very, very straight eyebrows. Straighter than this. These look straight but mine usually are like like dead straight and they have, they have they don't even have this to them they literally just go straight so I've been kind of fighting with them for a while and trying different things and different shapes and all that kind of thing and this is something that I've settled on that I like which is awesome um, to finally be at a stage that I like so I thought that I would share with you um, just the ways that I've kind of come to this shape and the tools that I've used and it's also a very inexpensive tutorial because the things that I use are very inexpensive um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned if you're wanting to know how I got these. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take an eyebrow brush, just like this. Um, usually when I'm putting my foundation on, I tend to get uh, foundation kind of all over them. So A, I use this to get the foundation off, and B, just to kind of like brush them into place. So that's what I'm going to do first. So once we're all draw or, uh, brushed into place, um, products that I use are very, very inexpensive. When it comes to things like my eyebrows, things that um, I don't think need a lot of attention, um, and kind of meaning that I feel like a lot of the products are the same thing. Um, I use cheap drugstore stuff. So um, this is a palette by Annabelle, and this is a pencil by Annabelle. Um, in Canada, these are very, very cheap, and you can get them at any drugstore. And this is actually an eyeshadow palette. Um, what's it called? It's called Blue Angel. And this is the color that I use for my eyebrow. Um, I've had this forever and it's lasted me so long. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out because I don't know if they actually even have this exact shade anymore. But you can tell that it's not black like my eyebrows. It's actually like a very dark brown. And I wouldn't suggest using um, a color that is exactly like your eyebrow, you should go with a few shades lighter because you'll see in a second that it's just going to go on and look exactly the same. Um, so I use a mixture of both uh, a pencil and a shadow. Um, I use the pencil for kind of like more little intricate parts like the end of my brow and then I just use the shadow for basically all over. So what I'm going to be doing is taking that color on an angled brush just like this. This brush is by Quo. I'm pretty sure this is actually their eyebrow um, brush. So yeah, um, I take this and I like it because it's very, very thin and you can't really see um, the bristles. They're all kind of like very smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to put it on the side of the brush. Just like that. And how I usually start is I like to just like fill in the center and then I'll fill in here and then I'll go to my pencil. So we're just going to take that color and fill it in. It's okay if your brows take you a while. I feel like a good brow takes a bit of time. You can I see that I'm adding volume to I'm just going to move the front of my brow and bring the color up into it. And I'll just take the tip of my brush and I'll try to draw a line that will connect the top of the front of the brow into the middle of the brow. start to kind of go down my brow just a tiny bit. Just like that. And if you mess up, like this part I would say is a little bit too low for my liking. You can just rub with your finger. It's honestly so simple. So then I'm going to be taking um, just my pencil by Annabelle and I'm running low. That's the bad thing about these is sharpening. But they're cheap, so it's okay. Um, this is in the color 142, and it's called Earth. 
So I'm just going to take that to the front of my brow. And I'm just drawing in to make that um, a little more angular. Same thing, if you ever mess up, if it's, if it's too square for you, just rub it. Going over my powder now. And down just the bottom of my eye. This is where I'll start to kind of play with um, this little rounded part because I kind of like it to go up more and then straight back down. Eyebrows, I find it's a lot of just like playing around. I find a new shape kind of every now and then that I really like. And then I kind of fall into it, and I fall out of it. I'm just going to take my brush again, just because the front's getting a little... not to my taste. To my brush, not everything that I did. And go back to my brush. Just like I said, you're just gonna have to play and uh, find your safe spot. And you can see the difference. So I kind of it's like I have an eyebrow now, whereas before it was almost like it didn't. So yeah, that will be the first eyebrow, and I will just go ahead and do my second one. shade liner. Remember I put um, the brown in? I was using that anyways. Um, and there you look kind of black, right? So this eyebrow I feel as though it needs to come in towards my nose a little bit, so I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. Sometimes it's really dramatically big and sometimes it's really skinny, but it really just depends on the day how much time I have. Um, if I do my eyebrows quicker, it usually turns out better. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Um, any questions on the other makeup I'm wearing, anything like that, I'd love to help. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. And also, you guys can follow, follow me on Instagram, um, Tumblr, all those kind of things. Those links are down below. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped somebody. <laughs> thank you, bye guys.